I think it is very important that you act accordingly. You hear me use that term all the time. And what I mean by that and what I'm referring to is that there's various companies, there's various people that have told you and made it abundantly clear that they don't like you. Uh, they take stances on things that publicly and they use. Well, let me say this. They'll take stances not only publicly that are in spite of you or they don't like you. They'll tell you all that. But also there'll be something that's going on that may be diametrically opposed to what it is that you actually believe in. And instead of the individuals within it, you know, having their own individual opinions and that that's one thing. I get that. But for someone to use company like these companies that they're with using the products that they have using the cloud or, or a platform that they got from that product to then tell large swabs of people that we don't like you and we are going to do something that's antithetical to what it is that you believe in. I think we need more people paying attention to that. There's some things that you can't avoid. I'm not saying that you be, be you be irrational, but I think with entertainment of all things, those are things that can be easily be replaced. And a great job from, by Ryan from uh, Bounding in the Comics where he talks about some of this stuff and how there's a bunch of modern games that have really gone out of their way to take a stance on a baby sacrifice. And, um, again, it ain't just individuals having their own individual opinions. It's that, hey, we're going to, hey, you give us money, we're going to use your money, and this is what we're going to do with it. And I'm like, I ah, could have done without knowing that. So now that I know that, it, it, do I really want to fund you if I don't have to kind of situation? Um, I just want to just again, act accordingly. Maybe avoid when you can. I'm not saying avoid everything all the time. Um, maybe that's a little rational. You know my rule. Just, hey, get a little bit over 50%. Just give your money to people that don't hate you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have, uh, as it notes right here, Some smaller gaming companies have already spoke out overturn uh, uh, of the overturn of Roe v. Wade, of course. Why? These are gaming companies. It has nothing to do with them. But for whatever reason, they are using uh, their companies, again, not just individuals within it. They're using their own companies to um, give uh, uh, lectures about this type of stuff. There's been multiple Western gaming companies that spoke out in favor of child sacrifice. They call it reproductive rights and bodily autonomy, which this is not a bodily autonomy issue. If you're just simply referring to the uh, woman's body or what they say with people with uteruses bodies. Uh, no, or birthing people's bodies. <laughs> That's not what it is that we're talking about. If you want to uh, be have an honest discussion, you have to understand that there's a side of people that consider that thing that looks like a child, an actual child. Uh, so what about their bodily autonomy is really more so what we're talking about. Um, they say the list for numerous PlayStation uh, subsidiaries, no doubt motivated by Insomniac Games. That was the big one. That was the big one that came out. We covered this when it happened. Insomniac Games, 60 page, in defiance. Um, it, it was like, they're making demands. They're, they were mad that PlayStation, uh, Jim Ryan, president, actually didn't take a side. Uh, Jim Ryan said, hey, guys, uh, we need to respect each other's opinion on this. And uh, there's that. That wasn't good enough for the activists. That's why, why you don't hire activists. Uh, because the activists within the companies were like, that's not good enough. You need to be taking the side of them. And, of course, you add Insomniac Games, who have made the Spider-Man game. You guys uh, know uh, I will not be giving them money. Uh, well, well, it's less about Insomniac. Well, I'm not giving them money, but this just, just reassured it. Uh, the fact that they would come out and use their company to sit up here and take this side is bizarre. But if that's what you want, you're telling me you don't want my money. Uh, that's fine. I'm also never purchasing another Marvel product anyway. So uh, I would say never. Maybe the assets get sold out to someone that cares and... Uh, then I'll revert back. But as long as Disney's in a hold of that and they acting like how they act, I ain't giving them nothing. Uh, so that Spider-Man game ain't getting my money. But you have Bungie, Xbox, Bethesda, Ubisoft, Devolver uh, Digital, Double Fine Productions, Arena Net, uh, Inner Sloth, Future Club, and many more. Warner Bros. Games, also known as Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment. Uh, is another voice to add to the list. The publisher tweeted an article discussing Hollywood companies, including Warner Bros. 
uh, Discovery paying their employees to travel for abortion. And this is a tweet from them where they say, great to see Warner Bros. Discovery. Uh, this has come from Warner Bros. Games, seeing Warner Bros. Discovery making women's essential health care, which they're considering essential health care, uh, health was that make bad sexual decisions, um, irrational sexual decisions, which goes both ways between man and woman. Do the voluntary exchanges. Um, they are saying that that is essential health care. Um, and they say that it's a top priority. And of course, they are sharing an article that has people holding these signs and basically, hey, these are the people that are basically paying you to kill your, kill your child. Now, think about it. Some of that has to do with the bottom line. Hey, uh, you don't got to pay or, or, and the whole you won't be away for a month or mu multiple months doing child stuff if you have a baby. Uh, instead, you just get to go kill it. And we'll pay for your expenses and then you get back to work. <laughs> That's kind of more the way that they're looking at it. Uh, EA seemingly heel turn from reports back in May. Kotaku reported that bosses told EA staff that they wouldn't be speaking out. And that while being an inclusive company means being inclusive of all those viewpoints, they would only speak out when it would actually have a positive impact and it being a consistent perspective among their staff. Uh, we talked about that. EA had a bunch of employees that were upset at that. They were demanding that you take a position and EA was like, no, I don't think, I don't think on this one. We think we're going to sit this one out. Um, and that was in interesting. On June 24, EA avoided the typical white uh, text on black background for corporate teal gradient. The tweet says our support is unwavering uh, for our people. We are committed to expanding the benefits of for us employees and their eligible dependents. Our aim is to provide care, support and services for the health and well being of our people. Um, itch announced that they will be selling indie bundle for ab abortion funds. Like these people don't feel messed up. Like just like, hey, here's a fun. Uh, uh, even if you felt like abortion was something that was, you know, even if you thought it was morally gray, like the fact that like people are like, I feel like at at minimum you 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 could be able to concede that that's not a preferable action. The way they talk about this stuff is like number one, it's a preferable action, and it's just a thing that you know you just do. Like no, nah, it's kind of not. Um, you know, definitely considering the percentage of people that get those. I know they're all, all rape and incest. They always put that stuff uh, up. That's not making a significant portion of the people that, according to all data, pretty much everywhere, the folks that are getting these are the folks that just decided to have irrational sexual relations. And then that irrational uh, sexual relation had them get pregnant. And then they decided that they wanted to kill the child. So for folks to be like, yeah, hey, this is what we're going to spend money on doing, that action. Again, I feel like no matter where you were at on the subject of, of, of abortion, like the fact that people talk about it like it's a preferable action, there's, a, there's, there's something jacked up about that. And this is why I say that we are dealing with literal demons. But they say in there, uh, they have this indie bundle for abortion funds that brings together more than 600 creators. United for this important cause, more than 700 items for $10. So you can um, pay money for games. And it says that all proceeds that are donated uh, will be going to uh, abortion. For, that's literally what it said. In, that's the name of the whole thing that they're doing here. Campaign. Indie Bundle for Abortion Funds. At the time of writing, gamers can buy 792 items. For more than 10 or more games, estimated to be at over $3,000 in value. And the bundle includes a bunch of indie games and what have you. And, of course, it says all proceeds go to the National Network for Abortion Funds Collective Power Fund. Which moves money directly to abortion funds. Like, again, so it's not even like they can't even mask it. It's not like one of those Planned Parenthood things where, yeah, we know they do a bunch of abortions, but they'll say, oh, wait, they do other stuff, too. This one says literally, which moves money directly to abortion funds. <laughs> Sega was one of the few Japanese companies to speak out, albeit their English speaking Twitter. 
And uh, this is their e- English speaking, like, so Sega uh, America. Again, Sega, why would you do this? I don't know. Says, uh, we stand for equality and believe the ability to make choices about one's body uh, is a human right. Sega, come out publicly against taxes if that's actually your consistent position and you extend that to the logical conclusion. We are matching employee donations to Planned Parenthood. Oh, they are going to fund that institution. That's literally what it says. It specifically names that they are matching employee donations to Planned Parenthood uh, as well as uh, Narwhal Pro-Choice America Foundation and other accredited Accredited nonprofit organization. This is coming from Sega themselves. Sega themselves are giving are saying that they are going to be matching funds to Planned Parenthood. But that's the did speak out as previously reported. This was seemingly motivated by staff and it wasn't enough. Kotaku uh, 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 Kotaku report staff at. Be, uh, at both Bethesda Game Studios and ZMX Media are unhappy. They're not clear in support of reproductive health care. Prior to the court's decision, the Women's Employees Resource Group sent an email to ZMX leadership as re- reproductive rights have come under full attack, they're saying. The lack of response from ZMX leadership has been deafening. It's just crazy. It goes to that that segment that we did the other day about employees making demands of their employers. That was unheard of even a decade ago. That was sure enough to get you fired. If you were like, Hey, imagine me working for someone like, Hey, you, you, I, you're not coming out against taxes enough. I'm being taxed. I demand that you do it. Your, your, your silence is deafening. Whoever my boss is, is probably going to say, Hey, um, thanks for the information. Um, if you don't mind, get up out of here. Do not clock out. That's not necessary. I already did it in the middle of you. Middle of you talking about this. I already clocked you out. Um, let me see that badge. Let me get that up off you. And uh, you can leave. You can keep the uniform. Uh, you can keep that. We, we, we're we going to update that anyway. Um, and you dusty. So we would want it back. So you can go do whatever you need to with it. See you later. That's how the reaction would be back in the not. I don't want to say back in the gap because I ain't that old. But now, because the era of the activists and the era of social justice being hyperemphasized, you now have probably all of these people that make these demands within his company. They probably were diversity hires themselves for the company to think that they're looking good. And now they're a headache. And now these people that are also work leadership positions um, and they have colored hair, neon colored hair, are making demands of their employers. Unheard of. But it's, a, it's just a usual thing now. At the time of writing, six calendar days have passed since the intent to overturn Roe v. Wade was leaked to the public. The email then proceeded to highlight how Bethesda had supported Pride Month, Black Lives Matter, and the invasion, invasion of Ukraine internally. Oh, man. So they're talking about basically, hey, this is what you get. It's never enough. You went out there and you put your neck out there for this social justice cause. So we need you to get in step, right? You've already pledged your allegiance to these different things. Where are you on this subject here? This is why you don't give in to the social justice left. It will never be enough. And that is why you don't hire these weirdos. So now, idiots over at Zenimax and various other companies, you're getting what you deserve. You're getting what you deserve. But that's the though. We believe the ability to make choices about one's body and lifestyle is a human right. I just wish y'all would just stop being chicken crap. But there's the your company ain't in good standing anyway. But I just wish y'all would just come out and just say, hey, you're pro abortion. Stop trying to word it in these rinky dink words that are ways that are being very disingenuous and very dishonest, because that's not the argument here. We know that you don't universalize the position about making choices about one's body. Many of you guys and your employees came out in support of uh, and actually instituted jab mandates within your company as well as supporting the state doing it. What are you talking about? That you care about making choices about one's body. 
We don't believe you. Zenimax COO, Jamie, uh, letter. Later issued an apology email the same day. So they made a demand, and then the COO, so I guess it's the chief operations officer, came out and said, I'd like to apologize for any offense caused by the earlier communication and to reassure you that we will continue to protect our employee options and access to critical health care. So you apologize to the mob. But they're saying that it wasn't enough. Despite the apology and other comments made earlier by letter to reassure employees in a max pro abortion stance, the email only addressed three or four of the requests. <laughs> so it's never enough. So right now they're like in this back and forth. And that's hilarious to me. Arguments have also risen on company Slack channels, especially as many developers working on Starfield and Redfall are based in Texas, while some have demanded clear condemnation. Hey, go go condemn an entire state of people because we're mad. It's like those fools that worked for, uh, was it Amazon? Well, they were like, hey, we demand that you stop working. Or oh, excuse me, excuse me, stop like selling products or doing business in red states, basically. First of all, they're not going to do that because they'd be dumb to do that. Former Zenimax, one former Zenimax employee told Kotaku that after Microsoft's acquisition, Zenimax would handle benefits separately, meaning Microsoft policies such as their support of abortion travel would not apply to Zenimax staff. It was never enough. It'll never be enough. And this is what you get. Stop apologizing to these weirdos. Stop caving into their demands. Actually, no. Mega corporations keep doing it because it's going to be your demise. And then there's going to be those of us that, I don't know, come up and rise from, well, we won't ever have been in your ashes. But you deserve what it is you get because you keep trying to cater to a demographic of weirdos that are unproductive. They're a headache. They're probably not even as creative as you like them to be. But you have way overestimated and overstated their influence and you think that maybe twitter or tiktok is representative of the rest of the entire country or the world for that matter and um you are so committed to their causes and it's gonna get you in trouble it's getting a lot of y'all in trouble going forward so hey instead of stop doing it you keep doing what you're gonna do you just listened to a clip from my podcast for ken and sake which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m central on youtube.com slash young ripper 59 and odyssey.com slash at young ripper 59 be sure to check out my website ericdjuly.com so you can stay up to date with everything it is that i'm doing you can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.